Workers in Western Australia's coal industry are facing job cuts as renewable technologies play a greater role in the state's energy market. The pressure on workers at coal-fired power stations and coal mines has led to calls for the Morrison government to announce a nationwide plan for regional communities impacted by energy transition. For this report, WA correspondent Aaron Fernandez travelled to the town of Collie in Western Australia's southwest region. In the West Australian town of Collie, the coal industry has provided jobs and security to generations of workers. Today, more than a thousand people work at Collie's coal-fired power stations and open-cut coal mines. But the times are changing. In August, the WA government announced up to 80 jobs will be shared at the state's largest coal-fired power station. Rod Rowe is one of the workers that could lose his job. Yeah, because there will be those that, that would like to take a redundancy and there'll be those that, that want to stay, you know, and I'll, I'll put my hand up now and say I'll, I'll, I definitely need to stay. I'm, you know, I'm 50 years old. The WA government's electricity retailer, Synergy, which operates the power station, says it is working with employees to determine who will be affected. This is what people don't see, they don't see what happens behind the scenes where, you know, you've got generations of, of families that have, that have worked there. Proud people, proud families, proud area. Yeah. We don't want to lose that. Across the region, the decreased demand for coal is seen as both a crisis and an opportunity. There are people across our community at all different stages of acceptance of, of what's happening. There are people who would like to see coal-fired power generation continue exactly as it has forever into the future, uh, right through to the people who, uh, in their minds, have already moved on and they've, they've completely accepted it. And it's not just the power station employees concerned for the future with the long-term viability of Collie's two coal mines under question. Kim Prates, who has a mortgage and looks after his father in Collie, operates heavy machinery at one of the coal mines. Yeah, basically we just need long-term solutions, not short-term ones. Um, guys like us don't want to be left behind and we want to be informed and we just don't want it to finish overnight and then say, sorry, you haven't got a job. The Federal Energy Minister did not respond to questions from SBS about government policy on renewable energy or if the government will establish an energy transition authority to help regional communities impacted by decreased demand for coal. In a statement provided to SBS, Angus Taylor said the government will develop a framework for managing the retirement of coal-fired power stations and is monitoring the closure of the Liddell power station in New South Wales to guide that process. But some in Collie say a nationwide plan for transitioning Australia's workforce is needed now. Alan Jauncey has worked at the state government owned power station for more than 40 years, but he may be forced into an early retirement. The demise of the coal fired power station in WA is directly related to the uptake of renewables. The federal government has been known to be quiet on the answer to the energy crisis and which is leading to the uncertainty. For now, the Collie community is trying to bring new industrial, farming and professional enterprises to the region while maximising the viability of coal while it lasts. For the most part, people are more worried about jobs. You know, if they can see something else for their future, then that starts to take the anxiety away. And also a, a little bit of certainty around what the timelines are, what the order of change will be and, and what that means for them personally. Aaron Fernandez, SBS World News. Improving job management.